There's been an explosion in student debt in this country, and New Jersey is no exception. But did New Jersey student loan borrowers end up paying more than they should have? That's what the state is alleging in a lawsuit filed against the company Navient, which used to be part of Sally May. Attorney General Gerbier Graywall's lawsuit accuses the company of abuses that made New Jersey borrowers worse off. That includes, for instance, steering borrowers into forbearance rather than income-based payments. As of June, Navient was servicing nearly 169,000 New Jersey borrowers who collectively owed over $7 billion in federal student loans. Navient called the allegations against it baseless. Governor Murphy's announcement that he was in contact with someone who tested positive for COVID-19 overshadowed today's announcement on new money for workforce development programs, but here are some details. The state will release $14 million for several programs, and Labor Commissioner Robert Asaro Angelo says some of that money will be used to help those still out of work. We'll be providing career training and supportive services as well as incentives for employers to create targeted on-the-job training opportunities. Our one-stop career centers throughout the state will be reaching out to unemployed claimants and dislocated workers directly so we can target those most in need of services. A new report from the state's biggest business lobbying group finds New Jersey has some work to do on developing its innovation economy. Nicole Sandelier is with the NJBIA. Massachusetts, New York, and Pennsylvania ranked above New Jersey this year in our Indicators of Innovation report. New York and Massachusetts by far have the most robust innovation ecosystems. Perhaps our closest competitor this year, however, is Maryland, who ranked just one point lower than New Jersey. The report finds the state has all the right assets to improve its ranking and includes numerous recommendations on how New Jersey can become more competitive including partnering with investors to help fund companies. The U.S. Justice Department has reached a more than $8 billion settlement with Purdue Pharma, the maker of OxyContin. This settles numerous lawsuits filed by states and cities accusing the drug maker of fueling the nation's opioid crisis. Now here's a check on the trading day. I'm Rhonda Schapler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report provided by ELEC and Operating Engineers 825, repairing our critical infrastructure and building our recovery. Learn more at elec825.org. And by Junior Achievement of New Jersey, celebrating 100 years as a mission and announcing this year's virtual NJ Business Hall of Fame on November 19th at 6 p.m. Event details online at janj.org.